What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing awesome today. I wanted to come to you guys and show you how I made lineman loops uh, for my rock climbing harness that I use for the tree stand. Over probably the last five years or so, I became a big fan of using a rock climbing harness instead of the full body harness that goes up over your shoulders. I really prefer to use this compared to something that takes up a lot of real estate on my upper body and kind of keeps me trapped in. Um, this is a lot more comfortable to wear. It's easy to put on at the truck and then walk through the woods with this on. But one thing with the rock climbing harness, whenever I do my hang and hunt sets, is just the fact of uh, getting my lineman belt around the tree and not having a place to hook in my carabiners on the side. So I've been having to use this center point here. I think they call this a belay loop. But it's fine to hook the carabiners right there. But whenever you're using your climbing sticks, and then everything is right here in the center. It's hard to get in here and work in the real estate on the inside. So it's better if, you're, if your lineman's belt is on the outside. So what I did was I got online and bought these Rhino USA. They're just called soft loops. They're these right here. Comes in four in a package. And I'll link this stuff down below in the description so you guys can take a look at it there and purchase it uh, through that link. They have a 3,475 pound load limit, and then it has a max brake strength of 10,427 pounds. So plenty solid for what I need. But what I did was, and I'll show you on my rock climbing harness, I just took two of these, ran them through each other, like this. Made them secure in the back. And then once I had this made, you can see here on the rock climbing harness, on the very back side, there's this very strong piece of material here and this kind of like a, a bungee cord type padded system that connects these back loops together. So I ran that whole system, the Rhino belt, through that on the back. And then what I did on the sides here, and then you can see here I just took some 550 cord and ran it through the Rhino loop. That way it just kind of stays set there right on your hips, right on your side. And I'll put this on and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here it is with the rock climbing harness on. You can see my lineman loop attachment points stay right here where they're easily accessible. I'm not real sure how well that's going to show up, but right there's my point where I put the 550 cord. So the lineman loop stays right there where I can get to it real easy. Stays secure and they're always right there when I need them. That way I'm not hooking up both carabiners right here in front. I can put each carabiner right here and then it goes directly around the tree. So there you go guys, I'll make sure and link this down below. This is a black diamond, I believe it's called the Vario rock climbing harness. Uh, but there's a lot of rock climbing harnesses out there and a lot of people use them, it's just always a struggle to find one with uh, built in lineman loops to attach your lineman belt. So that's the way that I kind of overcame that problem. And like I mentioned, I just prefer this much better than using a full body harness, it just works a lot better for me. A lot easier to pack in, a lot easier to wear, and more comfortable. That's my setup, and if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more videos. It's almost deer season. Can't wait. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.